Welcome to another video of time value of money. In this video, we will look at an example to understand the concept of present value of a growing annuity. Vaibhav Goyal, a second year MBA student, has just been offered a job at $80,000 a year. He anticipates his salary increasing by 9% a year until his retirement in 40 years. Given an interest rate of 20%, what is the present value of his lifetime salary? So let us first draw the time scale. So the time is 40 years. So let's see how we can represent this. One, two, three, four, and then I'll leave a gap. 38, 39, and 40. Now here we are assuming that at the end of the first year, the salary paid is $80,000 and then the salary increases at 9% per year thereon. So at the end of first year, the salary is $80,000. Then at the end of second year, it will be 80,000 multiplied by 1.09. 1.09 because there's a 9% increment in the salary as compared to the last year's salary. At the end of the third year, the salary will be 80,000 multiplied by 1.09 square. Now, why 1.09 square? Because the previous year's salary is 80,000 into 1.09. Now this year, we'll again multiply 1.09 to this. So 1.09 into 1.09 becomes 1.09 square. And so on, the salary will keep on increasing by 9% per annum. Now Vabhav expects this increment to continue till the next 40 years. Now Vabhav was one day pondering upon his salary and the increments that he is expecting. And then he thinks that what if I did not have to work my entire life? So how much money should I have today such that if I invest that at 20% interest per annum, then it will allow me to withdraw my normal salary, which I am expecting. In other words, Webhav wants to know the present value of his lifetime salary if the interest rate is 20%. So now we know the formula for finding the present value of a growing annuity. So this becomes a growing annuity because the annuity amounts are growing at a constant rate. So present value of a growing annuity is equal to a divided by i minus g into bracket 1 minus 1 plus g divided by 1 plus i to the power n. Now here a is the initial or the first year's payment amount, which in our case is 80,000. I is the rate of interest per period, which in our case is 20%. However, for the calculation in the formula, I will be 20 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.2. G is the growth rate which is 9% or 0 
and n is the number of compounding periods which in our case is 40. So let us plug in these values 80,000 divided by 0 0.2 minus 0 0.09 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.09 divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 to the power 40. So this is equal to 80,000 divided by 0 0.11 into bracket 1 minus 1.09 divided by 1.2 to the power 40. Now let's calculate this using our calculator. So let's first calculate this portion. So 1.09 divided by 1.2 and to the power 40. Now this is negative and plus 1. This multiplied by 80,000 divided by 0.11. So this comes out to be 711730.71 dollars. So basically if Webhoff has 711,730.71 dollars today and he invests that at 20% per annum interest rate then he'll be able to withdraw this growing cash flow for the next 40 years. In other words this is the present value of this growing annuity.